Okay. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna switch to Michael. Ah, uh, everything hurts. I don't think I'm gonna to talk too much because right now I am coughing like crazy. <coughs> okay, I'm muting.
is this? It's a thing. You said you wanted work. This is work. Uh-huh. And who's the guy? You'll see. Yes? Hi. <laughs> oh. Hello. We're looking for Mr. Madrazzo. Patricia, for fuck's sake, just let him in. Right this way, gentlemen. <laughs> Patricia, get us something to drink, would you? Quickly! Good to see you again, Michael. <laughs> Likewise. Uh, it's my friend Trevor. Uh, sit down. Sit, sit, sit. So what did you tell him about me, about Martin Madrazo? Martin's an old friend of mine, Trevor. The truth. Said. Martin is a terrifying psychopath who tried to kill me. Exactly. Uh, but some people. <laughs> They no longer fear me as much as they used to, people who wear clothes to me. Uh, my cousin, uh, you met in Michael. Uh. <laughs> well, apparently, he's thinking about testifying against me. So I have him killed. I'm going to. Yeah. By you. Our debt was settled. This is a favor. For a friend. What does friendship mean nothing these days? Ah, uh, hello? What's the deal? This is him. Javier, he's flying off to Liberty City this afternoon. <whistles> and he's taking some files of mine. Innocent files that um, I need back. There's a gun set up in the hills. I have a man watching at the airport. We'll let you know, and when he flies by, shoot him down and get the files back. A man, what's a pay? <laughs> huh? Trevor, come on. You still want to drink? Not now! Pendeja! Que no ves que estoy hablando con las gentes aquí? All right. You grab a vehicle, something versatile. I'll handle the gun. All right! Hey, let's stay in touch on the headsets. This car costs. Mike, Mike, you there? I got some poor bastard's dirt bike. Yeah, okay. Well, I ain't at the observatory yet. Start heading that way. By the way, I know why you took me there to that guy's house. Understood. Understood what? That he's a terrifying psycho and that you might have that in common? What is it? We gotta work for him. We don't gotta work for anyone, but I read you, man. What are you talking about? All that Aztec stuff. Those weird little artifacts. What? The little fertility statues, whatever. The guy has trouble getting it up. We'll clear two, three million on those. Easy. Perverts will pay anything for hope. We weren't casing the joint. We didn't agree to a fee for this job. So what's it all about? Okay. The guy lives well. That don't mean we're robbing him. But it does mean he's got money to pay people who help him. When the time comes, he'll do the right thing. If he don't, please, let me handle it. You don't get a wife like that without being rich and an asshole, right? The fuck? All right, I see the van with the gun in it. You nearby? Not far out. Shoot the plane down, and I'll be ready. T. 
If you could see this gun, it might convince you Martin Madrazo ain't someone to be messing with. The fancier the gun, the bigger the pussy who owns it. Now take down the jet. I don't see nothing yet. I got her. Southwest of the city. Gotta shoot in front to compensate for the speed of the jet. Gotta get paid. Just do the job. I'll get us paid down the road. Call the cops. I'm working with the government. I'm an important guy. You gotta. to Madrezzo and explain the human cost of this errand. Oh, take it easy, man. Listen to me. We'll talk about that later. I want you to just drop off the files. I gotta get rid of this rifle, then we'll talk.
What? There's been a change of plans. You don't need to come to the ranch. Meet me at Stoner Cement Works, a little up Sonora Road from there. What are you doing, Trevor? Nothing you wouldn't do. Trevor! Trevor! Ugh. I wouldn't do. Somehow I don't believe that. Where is he? Uh, the fuck has happened? Why do you have his car? Man, that piece of turd, huh? No wonder people are stabbing him in the back. What? Happened, cheap bastard. You know, I really don't know why you mess around with people like that, Mike. I mean, really, I Trevor, don't. Answer a fucking question. I asked for a fair day's pay after a fair day's work. Then he kind of got a little angry. So I admit, I kind of got a little angry. Did you kill him? What kind of fucking animal do you take me for? No, I didn't kill him. Oh, fuck. But I did kidnap his wife. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, shit. What the fuck did you do? Oh, I just... 
told you what I just did. Oh, now, shit. Uh, unfortunately, I think that we're gonna have to lay low for a little while oh. while, you know, we discuss things with Martin. Oh, you think? Why don't you hop in the back? All right, now, Patricia, she already called shotgun. <laughs> now, I know a nice oh, little shit. place we can hang out, you know, it's a, a very relaxing oh. little spot. Getaway, if you will, a cabin in the woods. You know what I'm saying. He's got about as much time. That's a fact to do by Simons. That spells trouble in the bedroom and the boardroom. Low T. Come on, my hands. Come here, boy. Man, you cool. <laughs> Fest the ball, chop chop. <laughs> That's trio, homie. Get it, go on. Try and keep up, little homie. You know the way home, chop, go. Only inches. Where you at, man? Your house is empty. Oh, hey. I had to kind of lay low for a while. Yeah, that nice Mexican we met. Me and T did that job for him, and we fell out. You gotta be joking. I wish I was. So where you at now? <sighs> Desert, out by Alamo Sea. All right, well, I'll hit you if I find anything. Absolutely. Uh, oh, hey. Trevor's got his wife. Trevor's got a wife? No, no, the Mexican's wife. What? <laughs> Shit, I don't know what to say about that one. Nothing. Nothing to say about that. Run! Run! I'm back! Coming, Trevor! Uh, bring me my coffee, I'm gonna cut your arm off. Absolutely! <clears throat> Who the hell's that, your maid? Oh, business partner. Good guy. Very loyal. Ron, Ron, that is Michael. 
And this is Patricia. <laughs> oh, listen, I'm beautiful. You know, I'm sorry about everything that's happened. And I, you know, I can't guarantee no harm's gonna come to you. I might have to chop you up into little pieces before spraying your pulp mess down the drain, but I really hope it doesn't come to that. I appreciate your honesty. You are a good man. I can see that. You need your eyes examined, then. Ron, you miss me? Yeah, Trevor, a bit, I mean. How's the fucking business? I, I, I tried. If you're gonna give me a sob story, I'm gonna rip your fucking throat out and shove a turd down the hole. It's not a sob story. It's just not quite come good yet. But I heard about something to do with Meriwether. Mm, those assholes Big again. cache of weapons they got coming in. So I thought you might want to uh, requisition mm. it. Fantastic! Let's go! Come in. Whoa, no, 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 not you. Sit down. You're a wanted man. Stay low. Now watch her, okay? She's a good lady. Let's go, Ron. Good to meet you, Michael. Fucking come on, let's go! <sighs> the weapons are coming in by air. We've got a plane over at the airstrip, but... Right, let's go! What are you going to do? We're not going to take out a private army on the ground, Ron. we got to meet them in the air. I, uh, well, uh, OK. Well, look, I knew that you were pissed after the Merriweather heist, giving back the hardware. That was bullshit. Right, right. So I've been monitoring chatter, tapping into Merriweather networks. Feels good to be back in the company of a professional. I got to say. I got it. Now, I was expecting something a little more impressive. The late, great Michael Townley. Not so late and not so great, right? And no longer called Townley. The years have not been terribly kind. What's the end game, man? We had a good thing going without him. If it's such a good thing, where's my money, huh? Where's my consultancy and my big fat dividend? I want a franchise network, Ron. I want reward cards. Merchandise! I want to make gun violence and drug dependency accessible to every man and beast from Hove Beach to Vespucci! I want country clubs, and a depressed wife with blonde hair, and a hot little secretary who bounces on my boy! Maybe if you'd buy into Oscar's business? I'm hearing there's a lot of bounce in the firearms sector. Well, I heard there's a lot of bounce in your head. Where's the TP Enterprise windfall, huh? It takes time! Time and money. Sure, and Michael Townley, the Santa, the fuckface, is gonna give that to me. Just the plane I need to take on a heavily armed, tax-funded militia. Call our guys south of the border. Tell them there's a fire sale. I'll get you on the CB! planes on my 12. Got the weapons they're using to enslave us on board. If we could get a hold of them, oh my god. I know it isn't my place to ask, but how exactly do you plan on requisitioning this equipment when you've caught up to them? Whoa! One step at a time, Ronald. 
Let's just get there first. Got a drop, man. They're on their screens. Altitude corrected. Brother, I'm fine. You know, the cargo plane's got four jets, a 200-foot wingspan. Yeah, 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 and I'm in a crop duster. This is something I'm acutely aware of. Enough. out here, bullying, reckless, totally selfish. Do the things that make me me. You're on the radar, Trevor. Lose altitude. I'm in control of this.
fuck is wrong with you? What's up with all this turbulence, huh? Now, who's gonna fly this thing? Come in, air traffic control. There has been a change of personnel and destination on the Meriwether jet. We are now landing at Mackenzie Field. Changing frequency, over. Ron, Ron, you there? I got the jet. You with the buyers? Welcoming parties here, Trevor. Fly safe now. It's kind of reckless flying that big plane so low, ain't it? Looks like a problem. Attention, Mary Weather Jet. We're under orders to escort you to base. Change course or we will engage. Oh, are you? Good diddle yourself! Uh, Ron, I've got the fucking Air Force on me. Shit! Gain some altitude. They might not tangle with you up there. We'll see if that helps. Comply immediately. I'm landing at Mackenzie Field. We can discuss this there, on the dirt, like men. Trevor! Shit, are you okay? I saw the plane go down. I survived, and Lizard Army didn't do so well, so that's something. Ah, oh, thank God. The fuselage went into the Alamo Sea. You might be able to salvage the hardware with dive gear or something. Ah, oh, good idea. But it'll take time. Tell Oscar 
He ain't getting these guns. Okay, look, I gotta ask. Are you in with the federal government? An agent, Sanchez, was round here saying you and Michael had to meet his supervisors at the garage, the cook site. Fuck, I gotta do this, okay? But I'm using them, all right? They, they ain't using me. Let's make that clear. You got off lucky, homie. Hey, Molly. I'm outside the studio. All right. Go over the wall and find the car on the lot. And then what? Only the principal actors and stunt people are authorized to go near it. So, you could get in wardrobe and play the part or try something else. All right. When you're out of there and clear of studio security, call me. You need to get on set. Where the hell is Brandon? Jesus! Are you gonna find him? Someone's gonna find him! Where is my movie star? Where is my movie star? I thought I had final approval on all stunt performers. At least get him a mask, or makeup, or something. I'm Please, not paying the excess! Hey, get out of there! Get that guy out! There. He's not signed off! Get out of the car! What's Brandon doing? Oh my god! This is an abduction! Pull over, creepo! Get off the wheel! I need to get the fuck out of here! Studio security are shutting your ass down, wacko! Oh fuck! We gonna lose these guys! Is this an abduction? Where are the 
If you have the car, bring it to Hayes Auto in South LS. Mr. Weston is marathon training, but he can change his route and meet you there. Yeah, okay. Because I got the car and it was messy. That's fine with us, but your associate, Michael DeSanta, has done some work at the studio and he might not be so happy. Yeah, yeah, whatever. What kind of shape is the car in? Well, whatever. We plan on refitting the guns to take live ammunition. Do the traffic spike and ejector seat need replacing too? Everything's still there, just like I found it. Good. One more thing. Mr. Weston's security detail are concerned about a suspicious figure near the garage. Let us know if you see something. You're developing quite the rep there, Slick. Insurance companies hate these kinds of claims. They don't like cats with the inside edge shorten them either. So how'd it go? Smooth enough, you know, movie people. You know what the irony is? I'm a major shareholder in that same studio, so what we just did is practically legal. Ha! Practically. Ooh, shit! Look at this motherfucker. You doing it big, my nigga, on the set. Lamar, what the fuck are you doing here? Oh, chirped your boy Trevor. It's fucked up when you gotta get your GPS location on your homeboys through a motherfucking speed freak. True that. Devin Weston, master of the two-hour female orgasm. What it is, Holmes? Lamar Davies. He was just leaving. Hey, not on my account. You looking for gainful employment, homie? Hell yeah, I'm always trying to get some motherfucking paper. Just the type of guy I like to work with. Predictable. Hey, we could bring your boy here in on the last part of the shipment. Oh, yeah, nigga, that's exactly what you could do. That's exactly Hell what you yeah. could do right man, there, yeah, man. Exactly. If you want him in, then you get him to boost the rest of the shit you got. Oh. Give me my money and I can go on oh, with my motherfucking oh. life. Oh, no, am I sensing tension here, Slick? <gasps> He's the spirit, but you're the brains. Am I wrong? I can see it. Look, I need you on point when we move this stuff out of town. <laughs> yeah, whatever, man. Call me when it's done. And after this, make sure we got our motherfucking check, all right? Ciao, baby. It is what it is. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, come here. I'm gonna put you in touch with my legal counsel. Hey, hey, don't touch me, homie. I don't get down like that. Yeah, let me tell you how the world works, Slim. Textile City. All right, brother, here we are. Prohibition is unconstitutional. Are you pro freedom? So I take it I can count on your attendance, friend. Huh? At the smoke in. Yeah, We're cool. what? Yeah, we're gonna bring down the government by smoking weed together in a public place. It's very effective. I'm prepared to be a martyr, friend. Are you? Shit, if being a martyr means to smoke good weed, for sure. Would you like a little warm-up? You know, before you go and collect the supplies? Before I what? You know, get the supplies. Can't have a smoke in without smoke. You know, cerebral stuff that's gonna Get the people up off their feet, protesting. Man, I don't know. It sounds kind of bullshit to me. We're gonna crush them with our resolve. Here. <clears throat> Have a little taste of that. <clears throat> hmm. Just a mellow, sophisticated high. Man, it seems a little dry. Can't you see the aliens? 
Man, what else are you taking? Man, this shit is garbage. Anyway, just get the stuff. It's a revolution, and then call me. Crazy motherfucker. San Andreas needs you. I I'll text you where the stuff is. Hey, go quick before someone sees you. And look out for the cops and the monsters. Is that funny? <laughs> ah! Dwarf dicks. 